Okay, so let's start coding the functionality for our text editor. I'm going to right click the form and view code. So the first thing we need to set the font that is default font for our text editor. And we decided that it's gonna be the small font. So I'm going to set an integer, I'll call it font size. And let's set it to eight. And we need the default name for the font. So let's make it sans serif. So it's gonna be font name. And it's gonna be ms sans serif. So our functionality allows for the font to be changed. So we can use a method to make the changes to our font, both the selected font as well as the size of the font. So I'm going to create a method that will not return anything and I'll name it change font. Now font itself is actually an object that C Sharp provides for us. So we can actually create an object called font style, which is part of the font library that C Sharp provides and I'll call it new font. And by default, we can have a regular font style. So a new font will equal font style dot regular. And you can see that actually can be bold, italic or underlined. So like I said, default is gonna be regular. And now we'll ask what the user selected from the menu. So we'll use an if statement. And we see if the MNU bold format, if it's checked. So this is part of our menu. And if this is checked, we'll change the font to a bold style. So our new font will equal, and it will equal bold. However, we are applying bold to the same font name. So what we want to do is to apply to a font that we have, which is our new font. And then we will specify the style. You can see now we have font style and we can specify bold. So this is the syntax to specify not just bold, but to keep the current font name that is being used. So I'm gonna copy this if statement because now we are going to simply check if the MNU italic is checked. And if it is, then we will apply the italic style. And then we'll have the underline. So we'll check if the MNU underline formatting is checked. And if it is, then our font style is going to be, of course, underline. So our TXT editor, which is where we are going to be typing for the font, we'll specify the font, will equal our new font that we just selected. So it's gonna be a new object of font with the font name. You can see that it's asking what the prototype is, which is what the name of the font is. And here we will specify first the font name, which we have. By default, we have the sans serif. And then we specify the font size. So that's our font size variable that we just selected from the menu and then the style itself. And that is our new font. So we created a new font based on the name that we specify and we here are specifying that we want sans serif by default. Then the size that we specify from the menu and by default we have it as regular. So if none of this is checked, then regular is being used. So our new font will have the style that is being selected from the menu and we pass it into the object for the new font for our text editor. So this is a method that will set the font for our editor. Now, of course, this is just a method and we don't have it implemented yet. To implement it, we need to first have the events for our clicks. So when we go to the menu and we have to code what happens when any of these options is clicked. So let's take care of that next.